The Jungle Book was the last animated film that was made while Disney was alive, which is interesting because the two films that would follow would steal such an unbelievable amount of animation from it. And as Disney films go, this is another one that I probably just place in the okay category. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the more sketchy style Disney animation, at least not around this time period. They always sort of look like the pencil sketches that were painted over, it never quite looked finished to me. If you're a fan of it, great, it just doesn't do much for me. But to each their own. How's the story? Well, based off of Ruyar Kipling's book, though very loosely, it follows the story of a little boy, or man-cub as the animals call him, named Mowgli. He's raised by a pack of wolves, but suddenly his life is in danger when the evil tiger Shere Khan is coming to town. Shere Khan hates man, and the wolves know that he'll rip him to shreds if he ever finds him. So a panther named Bagheera takes Mowgli to the man village. The only problem is Mowgli doesn't want to go. He wants to stay in the jungle and tries every chance he can to get away. While on the way, he comes across a friendly bear named Baloo, a marching elephant army, a crazy ape named King Louie, and a hypnotizing snake named Ka. Well, let's talk about the good stuff. The best thing in this movie is Shere Khan. He's just a great villain. He actually reminds me a lot of Maleficent. There's not really much to his motivation, but just the style and class he has is so friggin' awesome. He is so confident in what a badass he is that it really does actually come off pretty intimidating. He just has nothing to fear. Why should I run? Why should you run? Could it be possible that you don't know who I am? I know you, all right. Then you should also know that everyone runs from Shere Khan. The snake Ka, though not a main villain, is also pretty cool too. Some of the best parts of the movie are just all the jokes they can make with him and just how damn long he is. Uh, don't take that the wrong way. The boy is... okay. The other characters are... okay. The songs are... you guessed it, okay. Actually, I take it back. The very last song that the girl sings while getting the water actually I think is a very nice tune. Tea. the water till the day that I am grown. I'd like to hear somebody do a different version of it because it actually is a very soothing melody. But aside from that, nothing really stands out about the Jungle Book. Which is a shame because the original book is not only much darker, but it's much more interesting. The way the animal world views the human world is actually sort of a fascinating commentary. The characters are more developed too, and it follows Mowgli through sort of a coming of age story. Which really is a shame, because I think Disney could have done that story great. Chuck Jones did a version that was much closer to the book in a half hour. I found that infinitely more fascinating than this film. But as is, there's nothing really bad about The Jungle Book, except, like I said, not following the book that closely. But as its own separate thing, I guess it works out fine. It's a very basic kids film. What you see is what you get. It kept me entertained as a little kid, I'm sure it'll keep your kids entertained as well. A few creative scenes and one or two good characters definitely make it worth a watch.